What up, everybody? It's the Love First Podcast. It's K to Don. Now, right now, Natika is out taking a personal day, but she will be back soon. But in the building, we have a family, of course. We have Stack Skrilla. You're we outside. Outside, baby. And what special guests do we have hold in the on. building today? Drum roll, hold on. We have a... We got not one, but two. We got two special stars in the building. Hold on. Talk about it. We got the one and only Sean God Fonz figures in the building. That yeah, part I'm definitely yeah. in attendance. That's the brother of Buster Rhymes, y'all. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, the one Crazy and only with the music. Buster Rhymes brother in the building. And we have his booking agent, his manager, the girl in charge of his reels. The girl in charge of his boomerangs. She got something out on Tubi right now. Let's go. Sharita lives in the that building. Heavy on the Sharita lives in the Thanks building. Thanks for inviting me, guys. Thank you, thank you. Of course, man. It's 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 a pleasure to have y'all have y'all on there, man. And I love what y'all doing. And I'm actually curious with the dynamic and the talent y'all both have going on. How did how did y'all meet? How did this come about? I'm gonna let him go first. There we go. Well, um, <clears throat> I was at a, I was in the studio and, um, somebody I was working with was friends, is friends with the, with her. So, um, after the scenes, they caught some footage in, uh, in, in the studio for the video or whatever the case may be. So as we was all leaving, we was all linking and we met there. And then from there, we were just kicking it about BI and all type of like aspirations, dreams, all kind of shit. Like, what I do, what do you do? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Celebrity booking agent. I said, all right, well, me being Fonz, <clears throat> my name comes from the Happy Days thing. Yeah. Throwback. So, you know. Hey. Throwback. When you see him, he always had the ladies around him, some type of situation. Facts. Never too much dudes. If he pulled up on the dudes, it was, uh, you know what I'm saying? It was just to be a fella. Other than that. He was surrounded by the women, though. All the yeah. time. That's what Fonz was known Facts. for. That's Facts. a fact. So I took capitalization off that in my mind, like, all right, cool. If I'm going to build this brand of women around me, they got to just be doing something dope, too, as I'm doing something dope. And she's a celebrity book agent and shit. You're dealing with one, so it's like, why not? <laughs> mm-hmm. you know one I plus mean? one always going to equal two. Right, that part. So, you know, from there, it was just consistent. Me doing what I had to do. I booked the first show. Mm-hmm. And then from there, it was like, all right, this kid got traction. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have to, you know what I mean, lean it all on her. Like right, being right. lazy kind of shit. Like, all right, I got to Is that usually what now. happens? Let me be lazy. And if I don't get nothing, I don't get nothing. I'm going to try to act like I'm still popping. That ain't right. it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? If she's working, then I'm going to work. Facts. You know what I mean? So I had to work around her schedule as well to give her a reason to want to fuck with me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Or on a business level at all. You know what I mean? They even want to shake the room for me. You know what I mean? And everything she's done so far has been bossy. So I can't I can't complain. Liddy, Liddy, Liddy. Right. So I'm I'm curious from your perspective, what did you see special in him that you was like, man, I you know, I have to I wanna be a part of this situation, I wanna manage because I see where it can go. I mean, his performance. I mean, that was really what sold me. I mean, if he was like a whack artist or something, I would have been like, nah, I can't be your booking agent. I can't do it. <laughs> But yeah, based off of the performance, I was like, he has potential. Yeah, and, and so what about the performance? Because, you know, you see a lot of people doing music and this and that now, especially with all the technology. So what specifically would you say that just, like, caught your eye from his performance? Well, he does the dance moves with it. You know, yeah. he's got the little <laughs> okay. jig. The he's little... a performer, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Not everybody can, you know, you got you got people that can rap. Mm-hmm. Then you got people that can song write. Yeah. Then you got people that can perform. And it's not... It's not necessarily that everybody knows how to do everything. And one thing I would say about Sean God is his his performances be lit because he does what he wants. And you know let me saying? add on to that too. Yeah. It's not just Thank the you. um it's not just the movements. It's like he gets into character. So he's like he just plays this different whatever Super he's rapping man. about, he yeah. turns into that character. So that's yeah. why he bought me into this. I know I know what you mean too, because I s I've seen this um I'm the worst with the names, but I seen this artist and she was performing and she was playing a character and she stayed on it to even the end of the show. Like she walked off stage in character. You know, some people be like, yo, the song's over. I could go back to this. and that. But just mm-hmm. staying in that mode, in that zone, giving that feeling, you know what I mean? I think 
that's different. That's dope. You know what I mean? So that that that's fire. That's fire for sure. So I'm I'm curious, who are artists that you look up to that inspire you? Oh uh, shit! Of course, leaders. Mm, mm. Of, come on, yeah, yeah. Come on, I ain't even got the, the general, of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. Number one, myself. Okay. There you go. Okay. Um, I definitely inspire myself. I'm really on my own. Dig hard, pause. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, like, like no bullshit. Like this is New York. Five percent of the time, what I'm listening to, I'm listening to me, and I'm aggravated if I can't listen to me. Mm. Like, and if you're not trying to listen to me. Because I'm, I'm sensitive about my craft. Mm. You know what I'm saying? There's days, like, I feel like all the those that inspired me, like Daddy Kane, Rakim, Slick Rick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Funky 4 plus one more. Yeah. Uh, shit. The Wu, Big, J, Kim. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, Legends, yeah. You know legend, what I mean? Yeah. MC Light. You know what I mean? Uh, Queen Latifah. Just mm. the strength and, and, and shit that. The people had at that time with with having to be nice. You just couldn't do this. Yeah, yeah. Like you really had to be nice and you couldn't sound like nobody else. For sure. So I lean more like I lean more towards people who are originators, mm -hmm. like L L and them, you know, that class of individuals, you know what I mean, who really stuck by their craft and their image and their style and it was sensitive. So that's what inspired me, like I'm just an embodiment of everything, like from NWA to Wu Tang Clan. Like yeah. you know, what I'm saying, like I promise you, I am. You know, what I mean, I like you'll hear it through the music from Chain Swinging, or you know, what I mean, Mortician Flow. You'll get that New York gritty. You know, what I mean, Chain Swinging. You'll get that whooping. You you know, what I'm saying, mm -hmm. it, 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 it's you gonna get something heartfelt. The intro and for he's a jolly hip fella. Like you gonna vibes. You gonna get me. You gonna get Jamel. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It, it, it come with the territory. And and it's crazy because Stax was, you know, just showing me Morticia flow. But for, like, the people that may not have heard it yet, right, mm -hmm. how would you describe your sound and the type of lyrics that you come with? Boom bap. That was boom bap. Like, I'm, like, I'm a, I'm, I'm comfortable in, in, in areas where most ain't. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm real... I'm not I'm not a trendy chaser. I'm a tone setter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I set the tone. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I stick to the script. I work with work for me. I'm the best. Yeah. Me. I can be on record. So with Mortician Flow, I would describe it as New York. Mm. That's that's the best way. It's, it's, Facts. it's yeah. super new. It was produced by Core Mason. Um, Rizzo Little Cousin. Okay. That's why I got Shout that. Shout out Core Mason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a fact. Shout out Core Mason. His production is bananas. Um, it was a 36 chamber production email I got from the beat. So, you know, mm. it was dope. You know what I mean? And 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 the kid, I got a few more joints to do with him. And that that I was a moment, man. It was it was a moment I was in. Yeah. You know what I mean? My little brother was in that. God bless the dad. You know what I mean? Like I shot the video, pandemic. It was just something to get out there. Cause I was putting a project out there. I got tired of working and waiting. So I just fed the streets real quick with something to show people I can rap rap instead yeah. of trying to like right. drill or copy whatever the algorithms <clears> is dealing <throat> with just to get a bag. Like that ain't what I'm doing. Mm. I respect that. Right. So let me ask you this, Sean. Hold on, hold on. So, <laughs> right, so I, I got to ask you. So what is it like um, growing up with Buster Rhymes as your brother, man? Did he have any kind of input when it I comes down to you? I didn't grow up with Buster. That's the other shit. Like you understand what I'm saying? We grew up different. Wow, so, right. but you know his influence. Growing up on his influence, is 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 just the same thing. Like it's more. I'm like, I was banging in these streets, and it wasn't for him. Right, right. To see me do what he's done in the past, and he's winning thirty years the bus ass for a culture of the world for individuals like myself. You know what I'm saying, and 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 the family members that do eat off this and and be motivated to win from eating off of it a little. You know what right. I mean, like whether it's getting took out to dinner, you know what I mean, on his bill. Whether it's the, he hiring a chef for everybody to eat. Mm. You know what I'm saying. That's hard work on stages worldwide for 30 years plus. 
It's motivational. It's hard to hold these people's attention for 30 years straight. <laughs> be from that cloth. It's hard to hold them for a year. Let me explain something to you. Yeah. Not even to make it a B rhymes thing, right? Though, I just want to get something clear. Yeah. I'm Sean God. Mm -hmm. I'm Fawn's figures. Mm -hmm. PJ figures. I, I am not Trevor Smith Jr. Mm -hmm. I can't, I don't want nobody expecting that to be me. Yeah. And you won't get that out of me. Now, you may hear it in the cadence a little because I'm right. influenced. You're going to hear he got it. We, I mean, like anybody in hip hop now got a piece from his page. Facts. You, Facts. You know Facts. what I'm saying? Like, you, it wasn't cool to style dreads. Do you get that day, a lot? So. Do, do people pretty much yeah. expect? Yeah, I mean, but I get it. I understand it. I get it. Yeah, of course. But although, rather, it's. Uh, you get woken up different and still love me. So it's like, eh. Right, I right. work around Bay Bro. Like, you understand what I'm saying? I'm, like, I, I make sure that the, the general has no work to do when it's time for him to do work. One thing I will notice, right, when it comes to the clips and your videos and everything, um, I notice that when they announce you, because we've, we've, you know, performed quite a few shows together, same shows. So um, what I see is when they announce your name, they usually bring him yeah, into the situation. And, 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 and. I notice it's never you. It's never you getting on the microphone and stating who's your brother or mm -hmm. your relationship. It's literally always Someone the else. club. It's yeah. always the club or the lounge. But it venue. comes with the territory of being outside the tone he set for me, the tone I set for myself as well, for him enough to believe in me and invest his lifestyle. Because he's rich, we not rich. Right. All right, that's one. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're gonna learn with him. You're, and nothing's for free, at mm. all, uh, mm. at all. Uh, only person he's taking care of is m his mama, love, mm. and them kids. Respect. Other than that, everybody gotta work. Has a job to do. You have the same twenty four hours as everyone else. You choose to do what you want to do with yours. So when I know that, in the forefront of my head that his dollar bill's not my dollar bill, and I'm a grown man, and he set a path for niggas to eat. Like, we all fish, mm -hmm. kind of shit. Like, it's time to go out there and catch something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it only, he, he didn't stir the water enough for the fish to be available for us to eat. And and I see that he's very supportive of you. And my, my question is, does Buster Rhymes have any input on your music business? Or yes. Like what you Hell yeah. Like, Everything like is clear through him. I don't play that shit. Mm. Now, when it comes to booking and shit, mm -hmm. not at all. Okay. You know why? Because, again, I, he didn't he didn't have to build me up as an artist where he had to invest all every dollar bill and time. Like I came with my own swag that the people loved already before music. I was heavy in these streets with a name for being a great guy. And taking care of communities and you know what I mean, whooping and mm -hmm. you know what I mean, just being a popular nigga in the streets for gangster shit. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean, like your sound travel, your name gonna travel. You know what I mean? And when it come back to the table, like that's nah, not my little bro. I can't have that around <laughs> me, man. Not right now. Like, come on, baby, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like and now it went from me pushing shit in, in front of the sit in in front of the studio to me being annoying. Like, nigga, I'm coming up. No, you're not. No, you not coming up here. You stay down there with them niggas. <laughs> like, word the mother. Like, it was hardcore. Like, yeah. to a point where... So you had like, to pretty much work for that acknowledgement. Yes, you had, yeah. It wasn't nothing given nigga, to you. Nigga, it was like a nigga in the street. But Facts. it wasn't on no whack nigga shit. It wasn't like, fuck that nigga. You made your, a name it for yourself more, in a different situation. It was That's more, what? nigga, you doing something that I ain't with right now. And you need deep. You in and out of prison. You gang banging hard. Like, mm. It's not good. It's not healthy for my business. Right. Yeah. Right. It's, so it's not. So I had to make a decision. So and yeah. Well, I was gonna say like, what was that that moment that made you the make last this decision? Bid. My last bid. Mm. I can't. I did eight. Came home. Two years in the street. Made the news for this paper. Did a one and a half to three. Then you know violations back and forth. S split. So you max nice. out. You know what I mean? Then you know. Um, Chilling, then had a little scuffle after the VMA shit, and then um, did a year, built out. Shout out to Jazzo, God bless the dead goods. 
They helped me with the bail. You know what I'm saying? Um, then I, I stayed in the street and got locked back up in Miami. It was just like, you know, it, it was, it was it, my, 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 my mom wasn't right. I was trying to tackle the music at the same time, mm-hmm. but I was too torn in my name and my job to do being a Damu at the time. So you know what I mean being that active. So it was hard to balance. It was I mean you it's you it's it is it's going to be only one balance and that's the way you make it. Right. If the gangsters set the rules, they don't follow them. Keys to success. That's one of them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you know you playing with some real shit here. You know what I mean? So and at the, that time, you know Slim was still alive. God bless the dead Slim 400. You know what I mean? And we was he was back and forth in New York with me everywhere. You know what I mean? And he died, so that shit took a toll on me too. That was big, a big loss for me. You know what I mean? And it, it was a lot going on in my life, man. Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of trauma. Yeah. And, and even you know, cause like like he was talking about keys to success. Like we're all about keys to success. If you can, if you can talk to someone out there that has talent, but they caught up in the streets, just a key to success, like, to motivate them to get out and why to get out. Like, what would you tell them, like, looking at the camera, talking to them? I say this. <laughs> if you a fan of kissing cold skin, proceed. Mm. Mm. Like, that, like, it's, it's all fun and games until the rabbit got the gun. Like, this ain't, this not a sport. You know what I'm saying? This isn't that. People die every day over this. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I got a lot of dead homies and dead homegirls behind this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, respectfully. A lot. Yeah. Like, can't even count on my fingers and toes no more. From east to west, to down south, to everywhere. Locked up. And I I get phone calls every day from the homies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, or I'm answering some shit from somebody from the west or whatever, you know what I mean, from the trees or the Elms or whatever it is, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? The Crenshaw district, you know what I mean? Like something, you know what I mean? It, it's, it, it gets corny when you know you have a shot. If you have a shot, shoot. Do not play yourself and use your shot on something that can kill you. 100%. Oh, shit. Now that's that's major keys, major keys to success right there. Um, now, now also even even on the the management side, what I would say, well, what are some some keys to, to success that to keep maybe an artist that that came from that type of background, you know what I mean? That's used to that, and when you see that talent, like, what do you do to help keep them motivated and keep them focused? Is that a question for me? Yes. Or is that a question for this guy? No, that's for, no, that's for you. Because I want to know, like, just on the on the team side, right? Because at, at the end of the day, it does fall on the person. But sometimes as a team, we we try to assist, you know what I mean? And what, what can we do to assist to keep them motivated, to keep them focused? Um, To keep the artist focused. Um, Of course, the events that I'm booking. <laughs> <laughs> getting them to work, um, right? yeah, keeping them busy. The, the work, so um, the events. I, I like, you know, preferably upscale things. I don't like mediocre events, right? Um, you know, especially with the type of artist that I'm managing. I mean, can't have him add to uh, some hole in the wall spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the events, I would say, to keep an artist motivated, um, their music should keep them motivated. Mm. Um, me as a booking agent, um, their look is everything to me. You know, like you have to look a certain way. Um, I'm really anal about that. Like, you know, cause visuals is everything to me. Yeah. So being able to have the look, um, you have to have your, you have to know what your look is too. You can't be looking like everybody else either. And you have to look, you know, some type of different than everybody else. For sure. Um, so, so Sharita, um, would you say you go through more difficulties when it comes to to uh, book him for the right events? Is it easier? What is it? What is your your tactics when it comes down to how you book him? Oh, see that we not even gonna disclose that. That's the secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's when I cut him right he there. This said here. Uh, you, good, sir. <laughs> you good? You good? Hold on. You good? You good? Next said, question. Hold on. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to say I'm talented in that area. I've been in this game since 2011. 
Okay. Yeah, so she been doing I've this for been a while. doing this for yes. a while. Um, Yo Gotti and um, Young Joe actually put me in the game. So. Oh um, wow! See. Yeah. Nice. And how were you able to even connect with that situation? Because I, I know you come from Indiana, Indianapolis. Um, so how, how were you able to like build these relationships to get to where you're at? And the girl just graduated out out, out in Indiana Tech. Shout out to her! Hey, Congratulations! Graduation. Thank you. Got a master's. But we actually, you. man, we gotta get a hand connection. Yeah, for real. Yeah. real so Thank you. Real. That would be criminal justice. That. Thank you. Love that. Love that. Love that. Thank you. But um, yeah. Back to the question you were asking me. Um. What were you asking me? No, so I was saying, you, were, you know, like how you were saying how uh, Yo Gotti and Yo Dro put you on. So I was saying, you know, especially coming from Indianapolis, like how were you able to cultivate these relationships to get to where you're at? Okay, so I did start off in Indianapolis. Fort Wayne, actually, is where I really started. Um, I started doing a lot of hostings um, with the artists first. Like before they just threw me in the game, I started hosting with them. Um, so they, you know, I hosted with Yo Gotti. Um, I was on tour with Young Dro. Um, so just being in that type of environment is what, you know, got me into that relationship with them. Um, hold on, sorry. So um, I'm with A Team Entertainment over there in Fort Wayne. So I started off with Kilo. He's actually my business partner out there in Fort Wayne. Um, so like I said, I started hosting and then I, you know, eventually got into, um, the booking. Yeah. I'm considered a celebrity booking agent because I worked with a lot of different big names. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's really Shout it. out just, to you. Shout out to you. <laughs> that's real. how I started. So so even, oh, even no. when, it, when it comes to booking, like, what are... Because you have a lot of artists, like, coming up. I mean, you got artists that have been up that might not even be sure. But even, like, for artists coming up, because we like to help the up and coming. Like, what are... What are strategies that you can use to book? You know, I mean, like, like what, what is that process? Um, well, my process is a little different. I'm very organized with what I do, my job. Like I said, I've been in the game for a while, so mm-hmm. I have a certain way that I, you know, do things. I'm not going to tell everybody and disclose all my information. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah um, everybody works their own way. Um, what works for me might may not work for everybody else. So, um are you asking me what advice I want to give someone that's yeah yeah to the some game? advice you know and we we might save it for the Love First TV app which means y'all need to download that for that exclusive but yeah you know, yeah like, like how that. how do you guys make the make your your business relationship work you know what is it that you know with your expertise and the things that you do what does he have to do to make your job easier and vice versa like mm, great question you know what I'm saying how yeah, do you guys really make question. this balance out. Well, first of all, he has to actually come <laughs> to my <laughs> bookings. That's for starters. Um, so um, I um, I usually um, consult with him and ask him if it's something that he's interested in, um, you know. And I look at what type of venue it is. Of course, like I told you earlier, I look at upscale, you know, things for him. So, you know, it can't be some hole in the spot in um brownsville and um i'm sorry not to like throw <laughs> under the table but so um because no. <laughs> i worked in brownsville before but still yeah. um i you know I my wife's from brownsville <laughs> sorry, Brooklyn, no. No. first sorry, baby wife. mom from brownsville <laughs> <laughs> i tried to hold it down <laughs> said first baby mom <laughs> yeah, so um i you know like i said i consult with him usually first um i do put like a calendar like an organized calendar together of the events that i that I'm, um, you know, for the week or whatever, the times, the locations. Um, and then, um, yeah, he just, you know, I figure out what he's going to wear. I well, just he, execute. He, he figures out what he's going to wear, you, do obviously. You ever, yeah. Um, and, yeah, we just, you know, we just work as a team. I just, it's really pretty. I mean, we got a little bit of bumps in the road, but, I mean, for, so far it's been it's been smooth. Funds. Does she ever uh, book an event for you that you you're not fond of? Like, how do you go about that? Has that ever happened where she booked you an event and you were like, <laughs> "Hell no, I'm not doing this." I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, I don't have that bone in my body. Mm. That's I, lit. like it could be five people in the room. Mm. Like I'm gonna perform. It could be two in the room. Mm. I'm going because that's the cloth I'm cut from. It doesn't matter how many people are there. Right. And the same like, level of performance you know I mean? to an energy. Yep. Yeah. It does because, because, like, Bus had a moment where he was performing at a spot that was booked for him, and it wasn't nobody there. 
everybody was still outside. So they had to create a moment that was so silly of energy to bring to make the people feel like the show was on and they has they was missing something. Right. So they was running in once they heard them rocking on stage. And that jewel right there was like, wow. Like that energy was so strong from there, he just chose to rock. Mm. You know what I mean? That's why the energy comes so nasty off from like to the people and they grab it and they wailing out with them. You can't help it. <laughs> you know, you just can't help it. And that's where I come in with the whole, ah, you got to give them everything will remain raw, bro. Yeah. So you in attack mode. You attack everything. Execute. Yeah, I have to. I like that. that that's I don't got no choice. I'm not nobody friend like on no that. records, nigga. I like that. I like so that. He coming, he coming <laughs> straight like that. He, he's you know, going to like, leave yeah. you. <laughs> no, we cool. Yeah. No, let me let me get this shit straight. I my man's is my man's. Yeah. My business colleagues is my business colleagues. My brothers is my brothers. No one of them motherfuckers is safe if they choose to get on a record with me. Facts. I'm sorry, brother, Facts. but I'm not. <laughs> yeah. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Like it's just it has it's, to it's be like, like boxing, no. right? I love boxing. It's like listen, it's all friend. love, but don't when you step in friend. that ring, when you step in that ring, we going to knock each other's head. Don't you get that up, right? I'm not though. dissing you on records neither, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you just doing the best you. I'm definitely not gonna wow. You gonna make them work? Slip, trip, and bust my lip. Make your feature work. You feel me? Straight like that. Better get busy. So it's safe to say that he's never been disappointed with my bookings. Nah, nice. That's, that's what she was waiting she for. Look, to that's what she established that with full clarity. Put that little icing on the cake real quick. You feel me? It's nothing like because she know what to do. Yeah. Lit. That's lit. And and even Thank just you. just the last thing on the booking subject, right? Like, cause a lot of people don't know. Like, what are these venues and promoters looking for when it comes to booking? Like, what are they looking for for you to have together to be attractive to want to bring you over there? Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. So <laughs> you just caught up on the word attractive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, like, no, so I'm saying, like, when 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 you're. Uh, when you're when you're doing the business meetings with the venue or the promoter, like what attracts them, right, to be like, oh, I need this artist here, you know, because the booking is is a two way thing, right? They gotta. When well, I, I, my pitch. Which you won't I, tell what, us. Yes, but, yeah. my pitch is what what gets what gets them, what gets us the bookings. All right, we're gonna do a special segment behind <laughs> the paid wall for the for the for the super keys, man. I, I like what y'all got going on, man. I like that. I gotta, I gotta ask this though. I gotta ask. Ask this, away. <laughs> when you go to book Sean God, right? Is it always necessary, or is it necessary at all to mention who he's affiliated with, who he's related to? So I figured that would help, right? You know, I, I mean, I, I would think it. so too. But then see, after knowing Sean God's energy, Sean like he God is Sean do it. God. Yeah, yeah, he don't. He do don't it. do that himself. Mm -hmm. I, like I said, I've seen I this man before. To him. Nice. You yeah. feel me? But I, I just want to know from the booking um, agent, the agent side. You know, when you go and you you have this pitch, does it is it ever that you don't use um, Busta Rhymes' name and then it's like you got to throw it in there? Like you know, I'm just it's just something that I gotta That's ask. That's a great question. Depends on what the venue is. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like as a business manager, like on the business side of things, if you feel like that's going to help and separate, you know, and you know he got the talent, so he's going to come and step to the plate, why not? You know what I mean? I understand as the artist, you're like, I'm not worried about that because I'm going to show myself. Mm -hmm. But when you have a good team around you, they're going to take whatever we right, can use as an that's advantage. That's why I had to ask the, because yeah. he's very much himself. Yeah, and, and, and I can tell. It's a team conglomerate. It's not... The Shine God or Buster Rhymes, we are mm -hmm. all a team. So, mm. so speak on that. Speak on that. So, so word around the streets is you've been welcomed into the family. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> he gonna put me on blast. <laughs> got to come on, got to. Um, yeah, I'm a part of their team. You guys I mean, are I'm really a dynamic brother, duo. So, yeah. You guys are really a dynamic duo. I see how you when you see Shanga, you see Sharita. When you see Sharita, you see Shanga. Mm. And and do, so do do you create music with your brother, or are you just like because I you know like I know a lot of like questions, man. It's turning into a bust. No, no, no. I'm not even trying to do it that way. But just like the fact that like yeah, I, I, we 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 definitely do music together. Okay. Yeah, and then, you know we we won't harbor on that. But I just know so the mentality of why I asked that question, right? Because 
We have celebrity family. I know other people with celebrity family. And sometimes you're so focused on like, yo, I'm just, I'm so focused on doing me. And then you don't want any other cloud or expectations over you that you might kind of steer away from that. And sometimes even more than maybe even necessary, but just to be so much in your own lane. Do you ever like feel that way? Or? Every day. Okay. That's what got me here. Mm. Today. Like you understand with, with who I, who I am as a, artist individual like I like he I make sure that he has no work to do because mm-hmm. I'm always hustling around him yeah yeah you understand what I'm saying the most he'll have to do is show face pop out mm-hmm. just for you know the, his moment of 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 watching the seed grow yeah you know what I mean other than that I don't need him to do what I have to do because it's going to get done yeah regardless of what I mean, yeah, he is the person that's more instrumental to my career than anybody else. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I, I give all the praise due to Big Bro. Yeah, yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. So I make sure that I'm d- always working around him, and that's and working around him meaning that I make sure I'm in the studio without his bill. Mm-hmm. I make sure that I'm getting records done without him having to pay for it and do all this other nonsense. I made sure that, you know what I mean, all, all the, the videos get done without him having any fun for it. Mm-hmm. I make sure that I'm I'm always looking cute. Mm-hmm. That way he ain't got to be busting up the bag over here, over there, and over there, and over there just to make me look good in the camera. Nah, nah, yeah, that, that's you definitely a saying? fact. Like, My boy dripped sure, out. <laughs> My sure, boy dripped I out. Make sh- and I have a name, most importantly, yeah. before all of this shit, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It was, uh, it, before conglomerate shit and all this, before the conglomerate, pardon self, not shit, before the conglomerate was, I was molded by GDK and H Moneybags from Get Low Carter Faculty. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Them, those, those was my mentors who actually taught me how to really rap the Codies. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, being in Jita crib, eating cereal, you know what I mean, looking at Bleak Platt every day, you know what I mean, trying yeah. to be like Memphis, you know what I mean, like it, it was different, you know what I mean, being from Aussie, so you know what I mean, like it, it, it come with the territory and shit. Then your friends and everybody, you know what I mean, Vaughn, the Smiths, you know what I mean, Tata, everybody, you know what I mean, Cheeky, yeah. you know what I mean, the whole crew. So, you know, it's, you know, to watch that era of shit set a tone in a moment, of a nigga life where he noticed I've been blessed to be around all type of shit yeah. in order to be able to soak up game from this, from this, from this, from this, from this way. You don't have to Chappetto me. Yeah. Right, right. You know what I mean? I'm not, you don't have to Pinocchio my body. Like, all right, this is what we going to do. do, 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 do. That's just quiet, nigga. Yeah. No, this is what we going to do because this is working. Yeah. Like you said, you execute. Yeah, I'm definitely going to execute. You get it done so, straight to it. No so procrastination. I, so I make sure nobody has that much work to do. Now, the most work they'll have to deal with is my attitude. Uh, how you describe your yeah, attitude? Yeah, I was about to say, how would you describe I want to see the self-awareness. I'm, I'm real. I'm real. Pause. I'm real anal about everything I do mm. because I've built myself so, so, so strongly. Yeah. Self-made, like, kind of shit from ground up that not saying I didn't have the help, but I didn't leave room for nobody to have to help. Mm. So the little bit that they did do played a big, big part to me keep me going. So like I'm a real asshole when it comes. <laughs> no bullshit. I'm listen. It's part of being a perfectionist. I'm I'm a super asshole with it. Why? Because I watch Big Bro not take no shit, and this is the illest performing dude in the game. This is the best. Of the best, of the best, of the best entertainers, you Spliff Star and Buster Rhymes, you're ever gonna get in America. They yay and they was popping and what ain't. Mm-hmm. Everybody, all they peers, they still rapping, but a lot of them eating off other shit than just rap. You don't see him crashing stages like that. So when I see him not having it, and why you're not having it, not just to be a dickhead. You're not having it because of this and because of that and because of this and because of that. There are reasons why. Not just to not have it and be obnoxious. 
Mm-hmm. Now nah, that shit quiet. So that's why I'm the way I am with it. Like, you follow my lead, and it's going to hurt to say goodbye, but you can get the fuck from around me if you're not on my time. Straight like that. Because I, was, I built this platform for anybody to eat with me, along with me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is a boat ride that I could do by myself. I don't need the help. But Facts. no matter how long it's going to take, it's going to get done. Though, you need a team. Yeah. So with, with that said, Sharita's on deck. Facts. You know what I mean? So now I'm not just doing it by myself no more. Mm-hmm. So right. I have help. Yeah. That That's making shit a lot easier for me as well, too, because shit, I don't got to bust my brain to find out where I'm going to perform at to keep my face relevant. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck the visuals and the records you hearing. Like, you got to feel it. That's a big, that's weight, what, big weight off your shoulders. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. No, 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 that's yeah. real because that, that, that's yeah. what people got to understand. I think a lot of people watch, like, music videos, TV, and just because the person in front of the camera, they think that's what it is. Not understanding it takes a team. You know nah, what I mean? No, what? I would, I, nigga, the traction ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that motion. Said, I, yeah, I, I did I got the motion. I got motion. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got hella motion, but the hella motion mm-hmm. wouldn't come f- from nothing but Sharita. Yeah. I have the motion because of her late nights behind my back telling me I got some shit going on and I don't even know it. Mm, mm. So I'm always got work. That's what, and her keeping me busy, keep me looking good. Yeah. So that's part of the business. And I, and I respect that humility because, you know, much, much respect to you and what you're doing because it takes teamwork and it also takes that showing up, you know what I mean? And oh, doing no, your man. thing, you know what I mean? So for sure. And, and like you said, you, you had a, a lot of mentors, you know, going through the situation, legendary mentors. So I'm just like, what's, what are some things that stood out to you the most that, like, you'll never forget? Well, God bless no man could curse. Mm. And balls. One more time. One more time. Like that, bro. Balls. You didn't even put that on the shirt, for real. Stop playing hashtag. No, really? well, God bless no man can curse. Once, you, once you're blessed, it's, the game is over. 100%. All right, so look, I, I'd like to ask some questions from our um, cameraman interns. Yeah, you just hold on, you just got yo. Got to, we, <laughs> I don't want to leave the the, the yo, interns we, we out get of into it. The, you just skip the <laughs> segments, on, all there, types some, of stuff. There's some some specific it's questions good. that no, you're asking. They're pretty good. It's some I'm good questions. Really it's some good questions. So uh, Trey Hunter wants to know what major artists uh, would you like to work with? Any anybody you look forward to collaborating with? Everybody. Have you collaborated with well, anybody? Everybody. Everybody. It's not a person that I, uh, that I wouldn't do music with, from country to to to, to gospel to everybody. And you believe you're you're versatile in that way I'm, to be able to oh, jump yeah, in all ba- on absolutely. spectrums. I write it all. I feel the same way about myself. So being around you, I I, I know he he mean what he's saying. He say what he mean. You feel facts, what I'm saying? Facts. I write it all. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's kind of hard not to be able to adapt to it if you write it all. Yeah. No white, brown, black. I don't give a damn. As long as we're making great music, let's get it. All and right. we got a um so we got another one from at Showtime IS9. Um, how important is building relationships in the business of music? That's the biggest thing you want to do. Mm. Is build relationships. You the relationships is what make you win. If you don't have any relationships, you'll just be a a, a Bojangles, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like respectfully, like like you have to secure your relationships and make them mean something. Like your network is your net worth. Never forget that. Mm. Your network is your net, net worth. worth. Yes, y'all gotta write Never that down. Never forget that. So you the plug, big you rich. Thing that people don't want to tell nobody. For real. They don't remind them that for breath fix. Mm-hmm. Finish your breath fix. Keys to success. He's just dropping them randomly. Keys, Keys is falling like a gentleman. Nah, respectfully. Like, your network is just, you can have a billion dollars cash in that suitcase. But on my phone contacts, I have billions of dollars in my phone that I can mm. always bounce back. If you're the smartest nigga in the room, get the fuck out of there. Yeah. Mm. Hey, don't stop, bro. I just want to let, let you go. Hey, you yo. the keys coming. We, we ain't that's even start so rapping. Real. That's bro. That's, that's why I want to hear that bar. Unless you're the teacher. Yeah, yeah. Bro, shit. And, and shit. even then, the teacher, you still need to make time to go learn. You know what I mean? Right. Continuously, continuously. You learn every day. 
And, you know, I'm curious because, you know, you're, well, your mind out is crazy. And I know just of respecting his mind, y'all want to know more about the music. So we want to know 2023, man. Well, right. well, what can we look forward to? What's coming up? So what What's you up? got coming up? I got up? some things. Me and Oom P got a project we putting out. No title yet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I did we peep y'all was outside with last week. We, we wilding outside. Sp- yeah. Spin yeah. is Shout out outside to Uway, everywhere. Shout Quest. The whole 1523. Mm. Um, Shit, I got my own project, the Loading NYC, the yeah. EP coming out. That's going to follow up with the uh, with the albums and shit. Okay, so, and that's know, dropping this year. Yeah, it's dropping. I'm going to drop it this year, five song EP, and I'm going to make a musically out of it. Mm. Will will smoke? Will you know will your will your song smoke be on that EP? Yes, it will. That's what I'm waiting for, bro. Uh, I'm right. not gonna hold you. Smoke is definitely when I, when I first met EP, you. Fame, that's one of the, the movie, songs that you performed, man. Boy Johnny, yes. That yes. song is lit. Yes. Let's flow go. switch. We talked about flow switching, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killed that. Oh, he be switching. When I say he walked, he walked. Walk. More about and that switching. And he performed flow. the shit out of it. He good. Like Sharita said, he goes into character. Like when he when he performs, yeah. you feel that everybody yeah. got to pay attention and nice. you got to move. You can't stay still at any of his his, his shows. I ain't even gonna lie. Wait. So so my question now too is. What, cause you know, being an artist, sometimes you like, you know, I'm just in my own bag. I'm gonna do my own thing. But when it comes to doing a feature, or even want to collaborate with another artist, like, what makes you want to collaborate with another artist? Like, what do you see from an artist that you're like, yo, you know what? I want to do a joint with you. Hunger. Mm. We're good because I'm hungry. Work <laughs> Hunger. <laughs> Let's go. You know why? Because the diamond is in the rough. Like it be. You, it's. I don't do shit just because you're hot. I'll, yeah. I'll do it for the B.I. Because mm-hmm. that's what they want to see. Mm-hmm. Other than that, that's not my preference. I'd mm-hmm. rather just rap mm-hmm. with niggas that's nice. Yes. And, and like Preferably. But I do business, so it got to make sense too, though. Mm-hmm. So if I'm going to do something with somebody, it would have to, it would have to make sense. It would have to compliment something uncomfortable I'm not doing. Mm. It would have to go left so we can make a hit. Like, I don't want you to, if I'm rapping, you rapping too. Yeah. You mm-hmm. might have to get melodic on it and turn it into a a, a hip-hop country record real quick. You might mm. have to tweak your voice and get London on me. Yeah. You know what All I'm right. saying? Like, the weather, gray, the rain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you what, this? To, Is that what you're talking about? Bro, spoke tea yeah. with some crumpets. Brav. Brav. Thanks. Thanks. Shit like and, that. It depends on the mood. Like, but... In all aspects, I love to work with anybody. The, my favorites, though, mm-hmm. right now, I would love to work with Drake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hands down. Yeah. Um, I would love to do um music with uh, with uh Mills. Yeah. Meek Mills. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like I, I like you know what I mean. Like at a moment, I wasn't Jack and Meek. Mm-hmm. Because it was sounding the same, it was like a yell. Everything was like a yell. <laughs> I understand. Like I don't want to. I don't the like to be yelled at. No, yeah, but it, the yelling is fire. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So it's like if you don't like it, take it out your ears. I don't want to sound like a hater because it's dope. But right. I just can't listen to somebody that sounds the same on everything all the time. Uh, can I hear your input on drill music and the drill scene now? I hate it. Mm. I feel you on that. I'm the same way. See, all right, I here, hate it. Here's though, my only issue. I, I love it when I'm lit. I was about to say my only issue though is like because when we say this, right? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. I hate it, but I love it when I'm lit. Okay. okay. Like I hate to love it. Like yeah. that, that's <laughs> right. just really it. Like what it is with me is is is, is you you can't have too much fun with it because the more fun you have with it, the more energy you pull out of it and put demonic energy in the air with it. Like, you're mm. celebrating it too much. Mm. And that's what's making niggas go like that. You know what I mean? And, and, and the message in it is kind of crazy. You know, as an artist, you do shit to entertain them and do what you want to do. You know, I get it, though. But when you become a parent and you're an artist, you know what I mean? It, right. The, the shit goes a little bit different. You start listening, you start getting scared for yours. And you know, what I mean, you they take into this shit like a duck take the water, and they think it's attractive, and lives is at stake. Mm. So as a, it's kind of huh, as an artist. Sweet. What Wait, do hold you on, think? on there, real quick on the drill though, right? Yeah. So, so my my only thing with that, right, is because, and you know, we're we're artists out here too. It's just like because drill, drill is a genre. Now I get that most drill artists do some of the similar things, but it's more of a sound. So I figure you can do. You can do something different with a sound. No, 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 no. I'll tweak the sound of drill. You'll hear it soon. Mm-hmm. That'll be all. Okay. What I'm saying is this, though. 
the the genre of drill has turned into more than just a sound. Mm. It's a lifestyle. Right. Mm. Because the word drill definition out here is to spin a block and kill mm. or put some work in. Mm -hmm. So if you making drill music and you talking about smoking your dead, I'd like, I've never felt comfortable to talk about the dead yeah, yeah, yeah. on records or somebody dead. I'm going to see it's going to be face to face shit. Like, I don't like, I don't think that that's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I don't like, I'm smoking on your dead mans and all this. You're like, all right. Even if son not like that, you're talking about there's somebody mother, mm -hmm. somebody like you setting yourself up to die. Like from somebody that loves that person. that got to wear that t-shirt every year. Right. That yeah. like that candle that let them balloons in the air every anniversary of these, this person's demise. There's somebody that love this kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that's that's hurting every year behind his shit, and you making it a so celebration Dances, thing. All and, kind and, of and, and, and the, crowds are participating and saying this shit at the shows at the stopping point, and they like smoking so, on this yeah. dead man, so and so, at, at a hundred thousand deep, and they don't even know the nigga. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just a, it, that that's that's crazy. No, it is. It is, and a hundred percent like on that factor. I agree with you, but it's like when when we had like Eric Adams back in the day talking about oh I want to ban drill music from radio, they're not even talking about listening to lyrics. They're like yo if we hear this sound that's considered drill anything just because nah, of the sound. You know what I mean? You can't do that. It's a wavy sound. Yeah. So so what would you guys? <laughs> I'll ask both of you guys as artists. Um, and Sharita, you could chime in too. Do you guys think it's the lyrics that make it drill? Is it the beat that makes it drill? Is I'm it not. I know it's the beat. That's yeah. that's drill though. Now, from them putting it, it it, was, it went from a sound to a genre. Mm. Right. Let's not forget that mm. it was just a sound at one time. Now it's a genre of music yeah. because of the lyrics. Yeah. Right. right. And the sound really started and the in definition London. of right and the definition of the word. Yeah. You know what I'm saying is what put the whole Stay drill thing Andre, because yeah. Chicago made it kind of big with the whole Chief Keith thing with the you know what I mean? Sosa being a big drill guy and all yeah, that out there, yeah. like, you yeah. know, that it Brooklyn took it and headlocked it and made it a sound. And Spliff brought the sound through through paper rock to the streets when he was pushing Favi and Foreign Side and, and Paper Rock and all that with K Money and them and Ethan and, 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 and Fabio and Swipey and flexing with a Swipey video. Like that was all structured by Spliff. That he had Bloods, Crips, GDs in one room. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Making music mm -hmm. at that time. And you know, Brooklyn was heavy on the drill time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, at the moment. So that's what kind of brought the sound to Brooklyn. Now you got Pop Smokes and you have other people, you know, the Cokas and yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? It's it's the the twirling, the chose, the woes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the beef started and you know now it's something to do. Yeah. So, so that's what made it drill. They put a stamp on it with violence and lyrics and talking nasty about niggas, which was getting views because everybody wanted to know somebody's business. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I personally don't listen to drill music, so I don't even know what they're talking about because I don't like the beats. And they're yelling at me all day. So it's the beats, the beats automatically <laughs> yeah, turn you I off? Yeah, just, I just turn it on. I'll be like, what is that? And I just turn it off. I no, can't she even, I, See, I was no. about to say, because we got to just no, show you something different. Cause right. I'm going to tell you, I love, love the beats. drill you can do. Like, there's the beats. You put pop smoke on right now. That, yeah, she going to That's not like She know the words and everything. Welcome to the party. No, but that's drill. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it gives me a headache. I can't listen to it. I can't listen to the song. I'm sorry. All that jumping up and down. Saying so listen to no extra, pop smoke. No. Pop smoke is not really like the songs I listen to is not drill. Well, yeah, right. But he he's a drill it's, artist. Yeah, yeah okay. but but the songs that I'm listening to. Well, I he was an artist. Understand. Pop is an artist. I can't mm -hmm. just call him a drill artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was. Let an me artist rephrase artist. that. My for bad. Sure, Rest sure. in peace, pop. For sure. For real. I listen he to was mood artist. swings and that's not <laughs> drill. He's singing in all kinds of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he took it to much. new levels. Yeah, it's another level. Versatile if I can't understand have. what you're saying, I'm not listening. I'm turning the music off. All right. Miss, Miss, I don't listen to drill. Mm -hmm. We do know you listen to Tubi, right? Oh, <laughs> because you're on Tubi. Can you Dang, tell us? Man, they did their research before they... For real, that's Show what we do, did. man. We professionals. So uh, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, can you tell us about your experience with that situation and how it was? Um. Well, <laughs> I made my acting debut mm -hmm. um, as a detective on a 
web series called Juicy. Mm. Yeah. It's airing on Tubi and YouTube at the current moment. Lit. Shout out, to, shout out to Juicy. So I already know that. Shout out Juicy. I already know low key you talking to the music supervisors about his music. Like, of course, always. <laughs> I'm his booking agent. Of course, he's gonna be in the conversation. He wants to That's know business. everything. <laughs> you, you know, you're gonna hear a Sean God song coming, you know, coming on during the credits or something. You know, but like, but you know what I, I, I love about you guys' dynamic because. Um, and it's not a you know shot to the past, but I've managed a few artists too back in the day. And I and I'm an artist and I do biz, all different things. And sometimes, like people don't want to see you grow, not realizing that can actually be beneficial. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I love how the energy and support. You know what I mean? And even what you're saying about her, what she's saying about you, like how that support is there. You guys are pushing each other to be good business people and creators, and realizing how that's beneficial for the big picture. So I just you know I just want to give you guys your flowers for that because everybody doesn't do that thank and that's you. something that's going to take you out very far nah, sure. i appreciate that man. Thank you, it ain't thank me you. though like i say i mean i'm only half of it mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i i ain't i'm here because of her let's hey, get that you're gonna do great right things like with, with that humility like, and that hunger straight. you're gonna do great things bro like great great things bro like that the mindset. Thank you. It's a mindset. You know what I mean? That's what people don't realize. The mindset you have to have is what's going to help you win. It's the blessings. It's, it's not even just that. It's just I'm in a blessed space. Like, like you know what I mean? I'm very blessed. I'll say that. You know what mm. I mean? Like, I'm a, like the blessings keep pouring. Count My dude's graduating. She graduating around me. Bro shaking shit everywhere. He just made the 50 tour. It's just too much blessings on top of blessings on yeah. top of blessings. Yeah. So, like, it's, it's hard to, like, not acknowledge God's work. No time better than the God clock. You know what I mean? That's the right time. So sure. everything going to happen when it's supposed to. You know sure. what I mean? So, you know. Sure. Man, we, we got some good stuff, man. In the next segment, I need to make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all like and subscribe just for the keys that y'all already heard. But we we about to have this man freestyling. And, of course, we got to introduce him to the fast flow game. So y'all need to stay fast tuned. Fast flow. Y'all already know. Mm -hmm. And okay. actually, before we go, let them know where they can follow y'all real quick. Well, you know. <clears throat> They can follow me on the gram and all all platforms. Phones, figures, music out right now. All platforms. You can pop. I mean, everything. Every major Everywhere. DSP, all right? Mm -hmm. That's one. Two, you can find me on the gram. All right? The underscore real Sean God figures. F-I-G-G-A-Z. Yes. Everything else politically correct. Yes. Respectfully. And you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Sharita Lives. It's L-I-V-E-S. Yes. And if you don't know how to spell Sharita, I mean, just you're just slow. So you don't deserve to follow. Yes. <laughs> Sharita is like simple. And it's not S-H-E either. It's S-H-A-R-I-T-A. Yeah. Thank you. Not the S-H-E. Exactly. Stat part. You can find me at Stat Skrilla Music on the gram. That's S-C-A-C-C-S-S-C-R-I-L-L-A -C -C -S 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 -E Music. Let's go. Yes. And y'all already know, man. Just make sure, look, don't follow me. Just get that Love First TV app. Hold get on. these get these keys to success that just keep coming Hold and keep on. coming and keep coming. It's available on Google Play, your app store, and we coming to Amazon. So make sure you download, subscribe, and if you don't have it already, Stacks. What are you waiting for? Exactly. Shout out to what? the thinker. I know what. <laughs> yeah. I just want to take this time out to thank God and thank y'all for having us. Yeah, yeah. You know Respectfully. That. Blessings. Or the blessings. Mother, because, you know, this is a dope platform with black individuals. I'm comfortable around. This ain't this ain't no, not that it's a color thing with me at all. You know what I'm saying? It's just to see my con winning like this yes. is, is butter. Seeing you on stage and then to hear go crazy. Appreciate it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we outside, bro. versatility bro. for me. No, yeah, really. I butter. appreciate that. It's motivated for me as well. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So... Man, this this probably like your fourth, fifth podcast this this past week. I see you outside, outside, bro. baby. See, when I say this man, I, I went to a live podcast. Um, the manager of my collective through a, a live podcast episode one, mm -hmm. and um, Sean got definitely pulled up with Sharita. Mm -hmm. They be everywhere, bro. And outside. I met them in the club at a performance. I met you guys at Gems, right? That's right. And it was always good energy from there. I'm not oh, even gonna lie. You crew so, in there, you know, the, my niggas shot, my niggas shooter, uh, shit. Uh, um, Kamaya Dior. Let's go, KD. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She yeah. got a record out that's dope. Shout out to her. 
If you wanna just fuck, just say that. Oh, shout out to JB Dior too, the first lady at Shanghai Music Group. Y'all will be hearing a whole lot of. Oh yeah, I peeped. Shit. I peeped on the gram. She, she working. Really she yeah, working. She's super working. She been working for a long time, but her situation was like topsy turvy with 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 just where she wanted to go with the music. She just was just wanting to just make shit. Then she was doing spoken word for a second. Okay. And then she do a lot of spoken word shit. Then she transitioned back into the, the music field of things, like musically. I'm sure with your guidance and your energy. Nah, your she's a parent. So, you know, she got beautiful kids to take care of. So it's like, okay, cool. When you figure, you know, your situation for your schedule, being right. a mom as well, you right. got to be empathetic to that too. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm a parent. I get it. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Do your thing. Just when you're ready, just let's shoot. And she was ready this season. She, I heard some shit she did off the um, the uh, don't play with it beat mm. called Nick Nack Paddywhack. And she had a line where she said, jumped on the Lola and did a hover and it fucked oh, my heart. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <Yeah>. hold on. <laughs> yeah. I said, Yo, what you just said? Yeah, yeah. And I rewound it like, and I was stuck on the record like seventy times. I said, Yo. We shooting content for this. Yeah. Ready. Immediately. When you ready, we got to shoot something for this. Yeah. And I brought it to the stool. Yeah, I just peeped that. Yeah, I and, posted. And let her shoot the shit. When she going black, she blacked on Wilding. Mm. Black Energy on, on the mic. You feel me? Lola Energy. Brooke, man. That's Bro. a bar right there, for real. Well, we, we got some more stuff coming into you, but remember, why I hate when, when you, you can, can love, love first. first. It's part. the Love First Podcast. You're. Oh. Don't cry when I come around. I want to see smile. Don't cry when I come around, I wanna see you smile.